Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's go get some. Hey guys, I made it out to the water. I'm at a local lake by my house uh, in Somerville, South Carolina. And before I go out anytime, either on a boat, kayak, anything, anytime on the water, the first safety thing I do is put on my Sawyer products sunscreen. It's specifically designed to stay put on your skin. Uh, I also carry it with me in the kayak and it also stays with me on the boats. Uh, so I'll put a link below in the description, but this is the first safety thing I put on every time. Uh, it's a great product, and uh, go check them out. So we're on the water now. We're on our way to the shallow end of the lake to start. That's where I like to start during the fall transition, because I know they should be up shallow. Uh, we'll take it from there. Gonna start off with a square bill crankbait. Now oh, watch, there's a power line up there. Baits are getting too expensive to keep losing these days. There we go. First fish of the day. Not too bad. So see, it's more of a reaction bite this time of year. Eh, probably a little pounder. This is why I use a fiberglass pole for crankbaits for sure. You know, prevents it from ripping it. So that was like my second cast, maybe third. So they're active. Oh, look at this. This guy's already got a hook stuck in his, in his throat from before. I don't know if you can see that down in there. So he's been caught before and released. that one In about four feet of water. Even though it was a reaction bite, it was still very subtle though.
the lure I'm using right now is a square fish square bill crankbait made by Strike King. It's a nice one. It's a full transition. About two and a half, three pounds. Nice size. I don't have my measuring board with me today, but I'm going to say probably about 18. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can see, I marked the side of the running depth that it is. This runs about two and a half feet. Uh, it's made by Strike King. So that's what I'm using right now. Like I said, I'm in about four feet, three and a half feet of water. And this is running about 2.5 feet. And I'm just banging it off cover. I can feel as I go around. There's some grass down there still. But this is the shallower part of this lake. To be honest with you, this is where I start every time. I come to the same spot to start on this lake. It's a very active end of the lake. Right now the temperature is Temperatures are uh, 56 degrees, the water tap. It's been a couple cool nights the last uh, three or four nights. And next week's gonna get even cooler, so I'm sure by the end of next week, it's probably only gonna be about 50 degrees. But I'm sure it'll warm back up soon. Should maintain the 50s, 60s, 50s, 60s, and maybe 40s. The rod I'm using is a St. Croix Mojo Bass Glass Rod. It's six foot ten, medium power, moderate action, and it's a uh, rod specifically for crankbaits and other swim baits. Uh, I've had it now for probably about hmm, maybe a year and a half, and it's uh, been pretty good. The reel I'm using is a Shimano Corrado DC. That's why you hear that strange sound. It's a uh, computer controlled backlash. You know, the technology's out there. Uh, might as well use it. So far, most of the fish have been caught on the crankbait. You know, I'm a soft bait type of guy, but I'm just not liking it today. They're liking the crankbait. So I guess they're being pretty aggressive. Getting ready for the winter.
Just received a phone call. We're gonna have a special guest appearance today on this video. Stay tuned to see who it is. Well, we're on our way to go pick up our special guest. Stay tuned to see who it is. Well, we're approaching the dock to pick up our special guest. Stay tuned. And look who it is. It's the J and the M of the RJM fishtails. Hey there, little guy. I just got my safety vest on. You got your safety vest on? That's what I got. Yeah, we're going to go for a little ride, okay? And lava What do you think, little guy? Thank you. Is it fun? Like, we can go two ways, Daddy. Z-Man Diesel Meadow. We're gonna try. It might be a little tough with you on here. Okay. You wanna reel it in? Go ahead. The, reel it in. When the fish comes. Yeah, when the fish comes, you gotta you gotta do a hook set. Well, I'm back where I started this morning, cruising around most of the lake. This seems like this area here where the sun stays on the lake most of the day is where it's been the most productive. So that's where we'll stay. Still using the diesel minnow from Z-Man. There's a nice one. Little baby. There's another one. That's a baby. Still swallow this thing though. So when I throw the Z-Man diesel minnow, uh, you know, it's a swim bait. I like to swim it, but I also give it a little twitch. So it looks like an injured bait fish every now and then. And I swim it. I'll bang it off a structure. I'm just trying to get that reaction bite. Oh. 
Yeah, they're chasing bait fish right now. You can see that. It's not bad. Probably a little bigger than what it was, but still a fish. Man, they're loving these crankbaits today. Here's a nice one. Nice. Hmm. Nice. You know, they've been holding in about, I don't know, three to six foot, six foot of water. You know, I've been just banging it off the, uh, there's a bunch of little trees in this area that have been banging it off. Uh, and they're just coming up and grabbing it. He's a healthy fish. Yeah, I'll take that any day. Hey guys, I want to take the time out in this video to thank my sponsors and affiliates for making this video possible. Today I want to highlight Overslide Outdoors. Uh, he kept me warm on the water today. Jason Nance is the owner. They make short sleeve, long sleeve, hats, buffs. He has a lot of his own designs and you can also send him your design. He does all my RJM shirts. You can send him your own design and he'll put it on any kind of shirts that he has available. Uh, very cool place. Uh, Go check them out today, overslotoutdoors.com. I'll leave a link in the description below and also my code for free shipping. Go check them out. So I'm headed in for the day. Uh, today was a great day. Uh, the key to success today was the crankbait. Uh, you know, it mimics bait fish. It's that time of year, fall transition. You know, they're getting ready for the winter. So uh, I tried the diesel minnow from uh, Z-Man. That caught a few fish, but most of my fish were caught on the uh, square bill crankbait probably about three to five foot of water uh, so if you like this video as I say like subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll catch you next time until then be safe and catch you on the water thanks